Welcome Virgo. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks and what it is that we can help you with over this time, okay? We'll be using the Druid Wisdom Cards, Mystical Journey Oracle, and Light Seer's Tarot. Okay, so Virgo, let's get into it with the Druid Wisdom Cards here. Okay, that was so quick. Just like that. Virgo, no mucking around today. Righty-ho. So first off, we had have Wild Wisdom. Oh, I love this. It looks to me, sorry, let me show you. There's writing over here, but I want to focus on this card for a tick because I feel like in the, the hills here is there's a story to be told. This is fascinating. Anyway, Wild Wisdom. Spirits bless you with their presence when you accept your true power. Unleash your creative heart here, now, in this hour. Ooh, ooh. Meditate with a vanadinite crystal for powerful focus and playful creativity. Vanadinite. Denight, Benedict, um, is spelt V A N A D I N I T E. Cool. Okay. So the next one here is this, and it oh, there's a little sheep hiding behind the rock. And but do you know what? It looks like the rock is out of place. It actually looks like it's appeared out of nowhere, like it's just been sort of. Not beam me up, Scotty, but beam me down, Scotty. You know, it's like, yeah, that's that's interesting, but there's a sheet behind it. But it looks out of place. Anyway, this is called Long Hidden Friend. A guide for travellers lost and found. He leads you to safety without a word or sound. Oh, I like that. Carry bloodstone in your pocket and trust nature to guide the way yeah i like that and it's sort of like the sheep may have needed to hide behind something because there was a predator around and a rock appeared out of nowhere to help it see this is the power you have virgo you do know this right this one here i don't know what it's called yet but what the heck is that oh there's a bird wow this here I feel like I'm just going to cover this so I can't see it because I just want to see where I'm getting from at first. I feel like this is you coming out of the darkness, rising up into the light, and you're just like, you can see the light, and it's right there for the taking, and you're like, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Um, and it's sort of like having to scramble your way in the dark and look for the next rock to hold on to or put your foot onto, okay, and yeah, so I feel like this is, man, this is a huge expansion for you here, Virgo, and um, pretty exciting, actually, um, yeah, anyway, let's have a look, Shh. look at this, two cards have already come out, yes, am I taking them? Yeah, no, I'm not. Sorry. There we go. If they're meant to come out, they will come out. Okay. Well, that's how I wanted it to come out. Taking your power back. Yes. Virgo, yes. Look at this. Look at this person here. It's like you've been in these murky waters, these muddy waters, and you see this person here. Their mouth and their nose are still emerged in the water right but the eyes are above the water so they're starting to see things a lot more clearer now and as you do this the water starts to actually clear so i just wonder for you virgo if you've been doing some work on clearing your energy okay it's kind of like letting all the negativity out and not allowing it to to control you anymore okay well I love this. I love this energy, Virgo. This is awesome. Okay, two cards. Is that one? Yep, that's one. We've got, oh man, Virgo, this is so cool. 
we've got the eight of cups here walking away from the things that don't serve you you know you've you've spent a, just one card just one card um oh, two i don't want two i only want one we, we we spend such a long time gathering these cups right and you've spent a long time working on what it is that you've been working on and you've gone do you know what i'm actually going off this way going off the beaten track um and not going along that path anymore to find my other two cups you're going to find the two of cups virgo One more card. One more card for taking your power back. I love that. So I feel like there's been... And we've got Seven of Swords. Okay. You have been in a situation that has not been... Um, that you've been uh, taken advantage of, I feel, in some shape or form. Um, and deceived. Um, that you... You... And it's sort of like Virgo. I just wonder if either, I'm not sure if you saw it going on or you did see it going on, but you felt so unheard. And um, you just feel like you had the wind taken out of your sails in a sense, I feel. Um, it's like you needed that rock to appear to protect you from the predator. You know, and you feel very vulnerable. I feel as though you've been doing a lot of healing and now you've decided to turn away from all that and walk in another direction, which is solely for you. And that is not a selfish thing to do. Okay, this is, I, I actually really like the word selfish. I think it's important for us to think of ourselves. You know, it's okay to be selfish when it's not harming other people. Yeah, this person here is selfish, but they've harmed other people. This person here is not harming anyone and could be referred to selfish as well. So there is a difference. There's a huge difference. Okay, um, and I feel like you're the good kind of selfish Okay, um, so I don't mean that as a put down whatsoever. You go for it. Okay, um, yeah. Tell me more about this for Virgo. More, please, for Virgo. I'm drawn to wild wisdom. Spirits bless you with their presence when you accept your true power. This is your true power. You owning it, claiming it, and walking it, yeah? Unleash your creative heart here, now, in this hour. This is the chance for you to do this right now, Virgo. Okay, give me another card for Virgo, please. Shadow work. Shadow work. I'm just trying to I just wonder if some of you have been through this been doing this shadow work um, let me see let me see I want to get a bit more info here first and it's sort of like going through the shadow work right and in this this recreation of yourself yeah see ace of wands <laughs> love it um there's this recreation of yourself and and really really tuning into this 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 here is opening this third eye here virgo and um and interestingly enough she's got this growth on the top of her head right so sort of opening that opening that third eye and the crown chakra here to really connect in okay to this passion now um 
with this being um, on top of the shadow work here, I do want to say to you that if there's still work to be done, uh, well, hang on a minute, sorry, let me stop myself there. The shadow is always there. There's always stuff in the shadow. The shadow is actually a really good thing, okay? I think a lot of people see the shadow self as bad, but I don't. I think the shadow self is is incredibly courageous. Um, it's where we store all those things we don't want to look at. Um, and in the shadow self are hidden gifts, okay? Things that we are not yet aware of, and we have to do the work on the shadow and bring out the parts of ourselves that we don't like that we don't want to look at and all that jazz and we have to do that in order for our talents and our gifts to come forth to be seen to be felt by us so that the passion can arise within us okay so give me one more card for shadow work for virgo please tell me more about this and um I adore this energy right here. Oh, the three of wands. Look at this. So I'm actually wondering for you if you've been um, pursuing this passion or at least you've put some things in place to start the journey, right? And this is you walking the journey. Okay. Um, and this has come out of you working on the shadow self. Okay, and there's, I'm drawn to this. Where we are going, oh sorry, where are we going if not deeper into this love? Heart be pure as holy as a holy dove. Let me in or let me go. Did I even read this? I didn't read it, did I? No. Maybe I wasn't meant to. It's called Glastonbury Tour. Let's see if that's the spelling of it. Carry. Here we go with this word that I don't know what it is. Rhodochronite. Rhodochrosite, I'll spell it for you. Carry that for deeper love and healing. Okay, so this may be having come out of a relationship here. Anyway, this word that I can't say is spelled R H O D O C H R O S I T E. I think I talked so long about that card and what I got from the picture, I forgot to read it to you. <laughs> Sorry about that, but we got there in the end. Um, yeah. This is really interesting, Virgo, because um, awakening. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is exactly what I was about to start rambling on about and the card has just come out to confirm it for me which i love you have absolutely been through the ringer you have had your heart broken okay you have you have not just been burnt but you have been scolded man utterly and completely scolded um and but man virgo you are incredible because here you are rising up again like look at this this one, this, you know, this is you. You've had, you know, you've lost your, <sighs> there's been something that, that tore you down so much that you weren't even able to spread your wings and fly, or there was someone who stopped you from, they clipped your wings. And, um, and you have, you've bore the brunt of a lot of things. It's not been easy. It's definitely not been easy and you have had your heart ripped out. But you are actually willing to stand up and rise up and move forward. Like, wow. Honestly, I honour you. I honour you, Virgo, right now. Because this is incredible for you to do. And I can feel this emotion here. 
Um, so please, please honour yourself, okay, and see the, 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 oh, I don't even have a word for it because you're so incredible. You are so incredible and I feel like I want to bow down like this to you. I really do because what you have come out of and after what you have been through and you're still here, wow, 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 like I really, really, really take my hat off to you. You're making me emotional here and with this card here and this sheep hiding behind this rock, you totally needed that. A guide for travellers lost and found. He leads you to safety without a word or a sound. And you are on your way to safety if you haven't arrived there already. I feel like you have arrived there. But there's still this work to be done. And this is all in the shadow work, right? Um, but by doing that shadow work, you allow yourself to rise again. You know, you allow yourself to rise up and the fire that is ignited within you is your authentic self. This is true to you. You know, you've walked away. You've walked away from this deception and this, you know, this, look at this person clipping the wings here, right? So that the crows can't fly. This is you taking your power back. Wow. Man. Virgo. Awakening. Tell me more about awakening for Virgo, please. i tell you what. The sun is going to shine down on you. The stars. Everything that has light in it is going to shine upon you. Because far out you deserve it. Holy heck. Man, coming out of that darkness, man, and into the light. That's you, Virgo. No one else could do it better than you. Wow. Yep, there we go. The lovers. Hanged man. Um, oh, there's two cards with the lovers, but I... Two cards with the lovers, and what do you suppose it is? It's the Ace of Cups. New beginning. A new beginning okay but with the hangman here it's okay to take a minute it's okay to catch your breath it's okay Virgo this is not the same it won't be the same okay um yeah this is an absolute passionate new beginning incredible may not be in a relationship if this is not the case for some of you this could be in anything um in your life you know whether it's that you've been burned in business or love or you know some sort of relationship that you've had whether it's with family or friends or whatever but it's okay to take a minute to to really suss things out and see things from another perspective, okay? Some of you may be like, I'm never going there again. I'm not doing that again, ever, ever, ever. But the thing is, I suppose, if you were to see it from another perspective of knowing that you truly deserve to be honoured and loved and cared for and nurtured, then why would you want to close yourself off from that? Why would you allow someone who has done this to you, you know, who has done this to you, why would you allow them to have that power over you still? Okay, and I'm not saying to rush into anything. Um, you know, it is important to really suss things out and make sure, you know, things are above board and the full quid and whatnot, right? But long-hidden friend, remember? Long-hidden friend, a guide for travellers lost and found. He leads you to safety without a word or a sound. Wild wisdom. Spirits bless you with their presence when you accept your true power. Unleash your creative heart here, now, in this hour. And look at this, is this creative heart here. This passionate new beginning. And it could be a new beginning with yourself, Virgo. You know, the shadow self, 
that part of yourself, you know. So, yeah, wow. Ooh-wee. Okay. Give me another card for Virgo here, please. Is that going to jump out? No. Felt like I'd be forcing it if I got it to fall. Okay, one more. Wow. <laughs> That's how I like it. Self-realization. Self-realization here, Virgo. This is you. Okay, there's, there's, there's three beings in this card. There's one here at the end of this path. There's one over here and there's one here. You are all of them. You, you are uh, getting to this, okay, this here, coming to the end of this path, and potentially at some point you felt like there's nowhere for you to go. The path has ended. Where do I go now? But there's been options. You know, there's options, okay, for you to jump. For you, it's sort of like, it's kind of like getting to a place in your life where you feel like you have nowhere to go. There is no, um, there's no way out. And this is where the hanged man comes in for you to see things from another perspective. And this is what this person over here has done. Okay, um, they, they, they've taken a moment to see that, oh, I can go in this direction and I can leap over here. Okay, and, and the, the destination that you're trying to reach here, that, that person, I feel like it's this here, right? That person is within you already. And it's just a matter of tapping into that to call that through. To allow that wild wisdom to be set free from deep within you, from the depths. It's right there, Virgo. Two cards for self-realization. I think that through this journey, you'll start to see who you truly are and what um, power you do actually um, possess inside of you because um, you are very powerful. I just feel like because of what has happened to you, Virgo, you don't feel you are. Part of me feels, Virgo, that you need to do a little bit of Forgiveness towards yourself. I didn't like the way that flipped up. Two cards for self-realization for Virgo, please. Thank you. We've got the Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups. Virgo, what else have we got? And we've got the Queen of Wands. Wow. Wow, we. Um, I feel like this is this what the self realization is about, regardless of the gender, the fact that they're queens, it doesn't matter, right? This is you really understanding your power. You know, you've got this one here who is just in this absolute serenity of her who she is. She knows what's in her cup. She knows that she's filled it up with all the goodness in the entire universe, right? And um, and she's soaking that up. Yeah, she's really soaking that up. And then we have the Queen of Wands here, who is like, I can light all these candles with what is within me. The passion is not outside of me. It is within and this is why I kind of wonder, with this lover's card, if this is you meeting you for the first time, coming together with you, you know? Um, and being aware of your power, being aware that it's not up to anyone else to fill your cup. That's not their responsibility, and it's also not your responsibility to fill someone else's cup. That's, you know, that's unfair to expect anyone to do that for us or us to expect them to do, to you know, for them to do that 
you know what I mean, vice versa. <laughs> um, but you know, this, the other thing about this, I want to say Virgo, is that for some of you, this could be a couple of people around you who possess these traits, who help to lift you up, who help you along this path, who are helping you along this journey to heal. And um, yeah, they're helping to bring you to the self-realization of who you truly are. Okay, so give me another card for Virgo, please. There we go. That's what we like. Healing hands. Look at this. Beautiful. I love this. This reminds me actually of the Two of Cups. Um, the hands coming together. But, and I feel like this is maybe you accepting help from others around you to break through these walls, to break through the surface so you can carry it along. Or at least to begin this journey for yourself. Because... Look, the journey is, is not always clear. We can't always see where it's going to lead. But um, but that's the part of clearing everything out of, um, you know, doing the healing that we need to do in order for us to allow our intuition to rise up and to be felt, okay? Because the fact of the matter, Virgo, is that if you're suppressing any emotions and not wanting to deal with those, then it's going to be harder for you to feel out your intuition because people say listen to your intuition but in my experience the intuition is actually felt as opposed to heard okay I feel like that's just a way of wording it okay so tell me more about healing hands for Virgo please it's like these cards want to jump but they're not that's not coming out how I want it to. Two cards for healing hands for Virgo. There we go. Well, we've got the four of pentacles. Yep. See, this is you protecting yourself, feeling like you need to protect yourself. Um, sorry, let me just show you this. Feeling like you, you need to protect things because of what has happened to you before. Okay, and um, and I feel like putting your trust into people who are genuine and authentic is going to help you to regain that trust in others, all right? And we have temperance here, balancing things out, everything in moderation here, um, and... Again, this, there's this blending of, of the light and the darkness. It's bringing it in together so that you are, um, you know, able to step into the purpose um, of your life. Okay, because this is what I actually feel could be missing for you, Virgo, is this, this path of purpose. Okay, so, so we've had two cards flip over there. Okay, one more card for Virgo here, please, from this deck. Thanks, that's how I like it. Energy shift. Wow. Wow, this is cool, man, because this, to me, is like these two. You've got the fire and you've got this vibration, but I feel like that's water, like he's in the same position as the Queen of um, Cups here. And then you've got the fire here, which is this one here. So I love this. This is an energy shift for you. Um, and this is about you blending these energies, this passion, um, Igniting this passion within you, allowing this to come up here, Virgo, is going to send out a vibration to bring more positivity and more of that back into your life, okay? Um, being really conscious of what you are sending out, okay? I feel like that's quite necessary, necessarily, necessary for you. Okay, give me two cards for energy shift for Virgo, please. Two cards. Just two. Well, that's like friggin' eight. Two. Two. Thanks. Hmm. Interesting. 
Um, we've got the Page of Swords and we've got the Ten of Swords. So look, moving from one, you, you're progressing here. I feel you're progressing, okay, coming out of this 10 and what has been done to you coming out of that energy and beginning to learn, okay, starting to learn about yourself. Maybe there's something that you're passionate about that you're going to go and, um, you know, start educating yourself about something, okay. And I feel like because she's got these light bulbs here that she's carrying and sort of like balloons, but they're not on. They haven't yet been ignited and I feel like as you travel this journey and maybe learn more about yourself and what it is that you're reflecting and the energy that you're emitting, um, that, you know, this will begin, you'll start to have these light bulb moments and you'll, these light bulbs will start to flick on for you, okay? Um, so yeah, this is an incredible reading. I do want to say... Um, and just reiterate for you, Virgo, that you are amazing. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. What I am seeing here and what I have felt in this reading, where you have come from and are rising up from, is beyond incredible. There are no words to describe it. Okay, so please keep going. I am so proud of you. So, so proud of you. And I hope that you're proud of yourself too. Okay, Virgo, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.